Hey, where'd Robin go? Spring heifer calves are coming in on the Jersey side. We begin our Guernsey Paturity on the opposite side of the ring. Coming through the gate is Stylecrest Mentor Chandler. Exhibited by Cade McIntyre from Edmonton, Edmonton, Kentucky. Bred by Fowler and Katie Brandstetter. Out of the Stylecrest Farms at Edmonton, Kentucky, Stylecrest Mentor Chandler. Next into the ring is Snyder's Kipling Bray. Bred and owned by Allie Snyder of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Snyder's Kipling Bray. Coming through next is Top View, L Man Rags to Riches. Bred and owned by Aubrey, Aiden, and Elena Top of Bodkins, Ohio. At the gate is Warwick Manor Fireman Scotch, owned by Carly and Colby Stolfus of East Pearl, Pennsylvania, and bred by Kevin Stolfus and family. It's Warwick Manor Fireman Scotch. And next is Hartdale Chief Cashmere, owned by Braden and Connor Hartmut of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. That's Hartdale's Chief Cashmere. The end of the ring comes Twin County What's on Tap, bred and owned by Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. That's Twin County What's on Tap. Now we have Dixley, Latimer Jokes on You. Bred and owned by Whitley Lee Urena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. That's Dixley, Latimer Jokes on You. And next in we have Villacrest, Mart Silk. Owned by Ellie Ledette of Delphi, Louisiana. Bred by Ralph Turley and Burl Weaver. That's Villacrest, Mart Silk. So that'll be your entries for your Guernsey Gold Fatirity. Jersey winter heifer calves. Jersey winter heifer calves. Be making your way to the makeup ring, please.
Your 2022 edition of the All-American Jersey Show is underway. At its debut in 1946, and folks, this is the 70th year for the All-American Jersey Show and Sale. Although today's show will be the 69th completed open show, 50 years ago last month, the barn fire during the All-American Jersey Show up in Columbus, Ohio, cut things a little short with no champion's name. This prompted the move to here in Louisville, Kentucky, and a couple years later, the 46th consecutive year that the North American International Livestock Exposition has hosted your Jersey All-American. The 1987 All-American Jersey Show was the largest in the series history and was the largest dairy show of any breed in the United States and possibly the world with 617 head shown. For this year's All-American Jersey Show, 458 registered jerseys are checked in and we're confident that over the next two days, you will be impressed by the quality in each class from top to bottom. Of course, the All-American Jersey Show is a championship show. The first place ham on each class is designated by the American Jersey Cattle Association as the All-American of its age group for 2022. The second place animal earns that reserve All-American recognition. Custom designed sashes for these designations will be presented to the owners and these animals during today's show. These winners will be recognized over the next two months in the Digital Jersey Journal, the official publication of the American Jersey Cattle Association and National All Jersey Incorporated. Placings in all classes are being posted as the show progresses on the U.S. Jersey website, Jersey Journal Facebook page, and the usjerseyjournal.com website. The judge for the All-American Jersey Show is Andrew Vanderbilt in of Brighton, Ontario, Canada. His consultant is Joe Nash from New York. We appreciate their work here today. We'll tell you more about those uh, two outstanding judges that you have as we go through our program today. Guernsey yearling and milk class need to be in the makeup ring now. Guernsey yearling and milk to the makeup ring, please.
important announcement for all of you class winners for the All-American Jersey Show. The rules of the All-American Jersey Show require that professional pictures of all class winners and also all second place winners be sent directly to the Jersey Journal for use in reporting of the event. If you have any questions about the picture policy, please visit with the Jersey Journal Managing Editor, Tracy Hoyne, at ringside after the show. But that's for first and second place winners, the requirement on the photos. Judging our Guernsey fraternity today is Seth Johnson, Turnbridge, Vermont. He's a sales rep for uh, Fibra Animal Health. He worked for the American Guernsey Association for 18 years, judged the Guernsey show at Harrisburg and Madison and the Canadian National Show. He raised and showed Guernseys with his family at Al Acres. He has exhibited the junior champion at the World Area Expo in 2021 for the Guernsey Breed. So we welcome to our show ring, Seth Johnson, your official judge for our Guernsey fraternity and our Guernsey show. His associate is Tyler Chuff from Oklahoma. He's a graduate of Oklahoma State University and worked with his family's auction business and shavings company, judged many state fairs, and continues to be an exhibitor, of course, for Guernsey and other breeds. So we welcome him also to our show ring, our Socha judge for the Guernsey show, Tyler Chuck. For your Jersey programs today, there are some mistakes. They are off, uh, sometimes as much as one or two animals in the wrong class. So we're trying to get some copies of those and get those corrected. Uh, your information is there, but you may have one or two animals that are actually listed on there in the wrong class. But we're trying to get an improved copy for you as soon as we can.
ist.
What a lineup of fine Guernsey cows. Our fine Guernsey cows. Fertility class for 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Would you show your appreciation now? And a big round of applause for your Guernsey fertility. We would like to announce some of the uh, special awards for the class. Your high milk and fat production cow, that award will go to number 16, that's Villacrest Mart Silk, owned by Ellie Ledet of Delphi, Louisiana. The fifth place award will go to entry 15, that's Dixley Latimer Jokes on You. Owned by Whitney Lee Urena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. That's your fifth spot, Dixley Latimer Jokes on You. In the fourth spot, number seven, Top View, L Man Rags to Riches, bred and owned by Aubrey, Aiden, and Elena Top of Botkins, Ohio. Your third place winner, Snyder's Kipling Bray, bred and owned by Ali Snyder of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Your second place winner and also first place junior award goes to entry number 13, Twin County, What's on Tap, bred and owned by Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. And the award for the best udder, for the high CPI, for the high protein, and the best bread known, and your first place winner, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, owned by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. There you have it. There's your fraternity winner. Congratulations, all those awards, and coming away with your banner, your Guernsey Fraternity Winners, Hartdale Chief Cashmere. Bred and owned by Braden and Lauren Robinson of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Congratulations. Well, what a fun futurity to start the Guernsey show today. Um, just there's quality from one end to the other. There's not a cow out here that I wouldn't love to own. And uh, when they all they just kept coming, these good young three-year-olds here, and um, there's there's great udders from one end to the other. It was um, quite a quite a bit of work to sort through these, and you've got some really good cows down the line. But when, when we sorted through them, these two cows that start the, the class just really came to the top for us. They're stunning young cows. They've got open dairy ribs. They've got tremendous udders. You get behind these two cows, they're high, wide rear udders. Uh, that really can get you excited. And uh, when we start to analyze the two cows as a pair, this cow that we start with has some uh, advantages over the second place cow. When you get in front of these cows, there's a huge uh, difference in the way they track on those front legs. Um, and we prefer, of course, the one that wins uh, in the way she moves through that front end. She, she also holds herself uh, stronger behind the shoulder, more filled in in the crops there than the big cow that follows her. I also give the, uh, the winning cow an advantage in just being a little uh, more balanced in that mammary system left to right than the cow that follows in second. But what a cow that follows her. She's as open-ribbed as they come. 
just really admire that huge rib and you get behind her and she's high and wide in that mammary attachment and she uses that uh, rear udder to uh, place over the cow coming out in third. She's just so much higher right at the top of the rear udder. She's filled right to the top. She's wider at the top of the rear udder than the cow that comes out in third. I will uh, grant that, that cow in third a beautifully balanced cow. She's, she's nicer made through the shoulder than the second place cow. Um, she, the third place cow over the fourth place cow, she's just moving so much more comfortably on those rear legs. She's got more natural flex to that hawk. She's stronger through the pastern today. I do admire the uh, rear rudder on that fourth place cow and she does have that advantage over the third cow. Fourth over fifth just comes down to utter quality, just more apparent utter uh, quality today. She's more defined in that seam and up the rear udder, uh, just uh, more overall quality in that mammary system than this big uh, framed cow. You admire the, the strength of frame and the way she holds it all together for a cow her size, and she does use that overall mass and strength and power to place over this beautiful, uh, youthful cow coming out in six. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge, and congratulations to our winners and the quality of the animals and for your Guernsey Gold Fraternity for 2022. Yearlings at milk for the Guernsey breed now coming in now. Milking yearlings for the Guernsey breed is coming in, so we need our junior two-year-olds. Junior two-year-olds for the Guernsey breed need to be making your way to the makeup ring now. Jersey winter heifer calves, be making your way to the makeup ring. Jersey winter heifer calves.
Our judge for the All-American Jersey Show is Andrew Vandermullen of Brighton, Ontario, Canada. He and his wife, Jennifer, and daughter and son, Taylor and Will, are co-owners of Avalay Genetics. Avalay consists of a third-generation herd of jerseys as well as sales and marketing component. The herd is bred using the philosophy of the balance of type and production with an emphasis on cow families. The family has bred 290 All-Canadian nominations, 58 All-Canadian, 45 Reserve All-Canadian, and 43 Honorable Mention All-Canadian over time. As well, they have managed and co-managed several consignment sales in the past 20 years around the globe. This will be the second time of his officiating the All-American Jersey Show here in Freedom Hall. He was here in 2015. In addition to his time here on the Green Savings, Andrew has also judged the Canadian Royal Jersey Show, the World Dairy Expo, Pennsylvania All-American, as well as numerous other shows in Canada and the United States. Internationally, he is also judged in Australia and Brazil and Mexico and Colombia. His consultant today is Joan Ash of New York with his wife Amanda and son Bodie, where they keep a select group of heifers that they exhibit. Merchandise or board every year. Amanda and Joe have been fortunate to have numerous All-American and All-Canadian nominations under their care in recent years. Joe is employed by Lamb Farms located in Oakfield, New York, where he is based at their heifer facility, assisting with herd management and reproduction. In 2017, he had the privilege of being the associate judge for the National Jersey Jug Fraternity and has since then officiated shows in seven states, including the Wisconsin Summer Championship Show and the Ohio State Fair Jersey Shows. So we appreciate our, our two fine judges here for your All-American Jersey Show, Andrew Vandermullen and Joe Nash. Joining us at ringside today is our 2021 National Jersey Queen, Kylie Conan, and the five finalists for the 2022 National Queen Contest. The new queen and her court will be named this afternoon at 2 o'clock p.m. at the start of our National Jersey Jug Fraternity. The five finalists joining us today are Allie Bowman from Oklahoma, Lydia Chittenden from New York, Jackie Mudd of Indiana, Sarah Reed of Pennsylvania, and Emma Voss from Wisconsin. So we're happy to have them here assisting with presentation of awards today, and we wish our candidates there the best of luck. And again, at the Jersey Jug, the new time on that, 2 o'clock, that's when we'll find out who your New Jersey Queen is. But again, our congratulations and welcome to your 2021 National Jersey Queen, Kylie Conan. Our first place winner in your milk, milk and yearling class will be number 129, Naps GP, 
BGAP Twist and Shout, exhibited by Larry Fix. In the second spot will be Misty Meadows, Copper Sweetheart, exhibited by Beth Clark. Well, really exciting. to We go from that fantastic futurity to a really quality class of milking yearlings here. Um, and we start with this big, tall, long, stretchy heifer. She's been fresh the longest in the class, and she shows she's ready to go. She's been fresh since June. Uh, I give her the advantage today. She's just taller. She's longer. She's got more openness to that fore rib than the heifer here in second. And when you get behind these heifers, when we got them in line, we thought it was close. Uh, get them next to each other. This uh, first heifer has just got so much more height to the top of her rear udder. Uh, that rear udder attachment just runs up quite a bit higher than this beautiful red heifer that follows. But take nothing away from this lovely heifer in second. She's so balanced. She's so correct all the way through. Uh, we're giving her uh, her own advantage in having more width at the, in the rear udder than the third place heifer. She's cleaner down through that hawk than the third place heifer and just has a little more stretch from end to end than the third place heifer. But what a balanced, correct heifer coming out in third. She sh shows more quality in her mammary system today, particularly back through that rear udder, more balance in the rear quarters than the fourth place heifer. And a heifer that's just maybe a tick sharper uh, than the fourth place heifer. Fourth over third, uh, similar advantages that uh, she has over the fifth place heifer. She's cleaner today. She's sharper over the shoulders, just had more time to, to get cleaned up. Shows a little more quality through that mammary system than the big, strong fifth place heifer. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. Now the junior two-year-old Guernsey class coming into the ring. Here's your rest of your placings for the milk and yearling class. Third place went to entry number 123, Still Dreaming Fireworks Nikki, exhibited by Brent and Jessica Dixon. In the fourth spot was number 128, Naps GP AP, exhibited by Brandon Grew. Fifth place went to number 127, Wagner's Mentor Monkey Bars, exhibited by Douglas Wagner. Senior two-year-old Guernseys, we need you in the makeup ring. Senior two-year-old Guernseys to the makeup ring. All animals in production classes are subject to ultrasound testing and milk sample testing. The testing is pursuant to Kentucky law KRS 246 that deals with unethical practices used in regard to livestock and the criminal penalties that are involved with that. In order to maintain the integrity of honest exhibition and presentation of dairy animals, the North American will continue the testing program at this year's show. In all cow classes, the first and second place cows will be required to be tested. Additional animals may be randomly selected uh, throughout the show. Our show officials will present testing cards during the lineup to the entries that are to be tested. Please take your cow and car to the examination area at the back of the show arena in the makeup area following your class. Now, if she will be shown in a championship or group class, you may wait until after that class has been completed. However, you need to tell the ultrasound clerk that you will be coming back after those classes or after the photo opportunities. All cows selected are to be examined before leaving the show ring and before they are milked out. Failure to follow these requirements will cause disqualification for all the exhibitors' entries. Each breed association has a representative that assists with escorting the cow and the leader to the examination area.
All right, our judge has his lineup for the junior two-year-old on the Guernsey breed. Standing in the first place is entry 133, Hollowview Tank Tilly. He's led by Kevin Stolfus. And in the second spot is Welcome Smoky Almond. That's entry 135, exhibited by Matthew Grab. Well, a nice class of uh, junior two-year-olds here. A little more variation here to sort through and some different things to look at. And to us, uh, this uh, young cow here is, is a youthful junior two that is uh, really a heifer that's kind of fault-free. Uh, she's correct all the way through. Uh, a heifer that's balanced with a really youthful mammary system. Today I'm giving her uh, her primary advantage over this big heifer that follows her is just uh, the way she moves on those feet and legs, the flat, clean bone through the hock, uh, the quality of bone through that hock uh, that we see in the first place heifer compared to the second place heifer. She's also a touch more youthful through that fore rudder, but take nothing away from the second place heifer. She's big, she's long, she's straight, and when you get behind them, she has the rear rudder in the class. It's high and it's wide and that seam is right up the middle. And that's an advantage she has over the third place heifer, just more clearly defined seam all the way up the rear rudder. Uh, and the obvious advantage when you get behind her, she's wider back through the pins, just a lot more cow in that second place heifer. Third over fourth, uh, she in her own right has the advantage in um, having a little more definition of seam today or just kind of losing the seam here in the fourth place heifer. Uh, but that third place heifer, just a little more udder quality today and also more width at the top of the rear udder. The fourth heifer over the fifth heifer, she uh, does have the advantage of being much more youthful in the mammary system, uh, quite a bit uh, smoother and snugger in that four udder attachment than the fifth place heifer and just overall more youthful in that mammary. Congratulations. Senior to your Guernseys are coming through the gate now. Junior three-year-old Guernsey gal should be making your way down to the makeup ring. Now the rest of your placings for the junior two-year-old in the third spot was entry 141. That snaps drone Trina, exhibited by Amanda Oliver. Fourth place went to lot 142, Ottermead Outleys, exhibited by Melissa Bovey. Fifth place in the lineup was number 132, Hartdale Top Gun Fizzle, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman. Sixth place went to 138, Cape May Latimer Hart, exhibited by Savannah Thomas. Seventh place went to entry 130, Hayes Farm Hercules Grace, exhibited by Melissa McGuire. And eighth place in the class was number 140, Eberaker C. Alice, exhibited by Donald Eberhard family. Working today's All-American Jersey Show. Back in the makeup ring, your show superintendent, Kristen Paul. <coughs> also back there, Seth Isleson and Randall Lowe, Jennifer Hickerson and Wayne Kirby. Ring people today, Ron Moser and Sidney Endress. Our clerks, Philip Clary, Lori King, and Scott Holcomb. Of course, covering the show, the media group, Tracy Hoyne, Daniel Brown, Haley Frazier, Blake Granzo, Lindsay Alamaro, and of course, Kim Billman. From your administration, your CEO, Neil Smith, here at ringside, and treasurer, Vicki White. Appreciate all of their hard work, uh, putting the All-American all together, and of course, all the great work that crew does all year long, doing so much for the Jersey breed.
We need a representative from the Boss Dairy LLC to come down to the Jersey Ring for the class sponsorship presentation for Class 1. That's the Boss Dairy of Galloway, Ohio, sponsors of their Spring Calf class. Our Jersey judges have made their first pull, of course, on the spring half for calf class, making their decisions who to move forward. So if you're in class two, the winter heifer calf for Jersey, you need to be at the makeup ring now. Junior three-year-old Guernseys, they need you in the makeup ring. On the Guernsey side today, the association crew that's working their show, Robin Alden as executive officer. Reagan Keim here as your queen in Whitney Arena as the princess, assisting with the awards presentations. Others assisting from the association, Blaine Crosser, who is the American Guernsey Association management consultant, and Sierra Jordan, the records coordinator. So we appreciate uh, the Guernsey crew from the national office to be here to assist with the North American. Assisting our Guernsey judges today is ring person David Adams. He's a retired UK Extension District Director. Back in the makeup ring, Jay Stone, UK Ag Agent in Hopkins County. Dave Roberts from the Kentucky Dairy Development Council. And our clerks, Abby Perdue from Farm Credit Mid-America and Brenda Strange, a purebred uh, dairy cattle breeder. So we appreciate them being here to assist with our show. Linda McClanahan is our Superintendent for the milk testing and Chris Schock, our coordinator back at the testing booth. We appreciate them. And of course, our assistant superintendent and my right hand man, Roger Sparrow, as our assistant superintendent. And my pleasure to be your superintendent for the show. I'm Dan Grigson, a retired ag agent from Stanford, Kentucky. And here at the microphone today, because if you have not heard earlier this morning, Mr. Jimmy Claycomb, our, our regular announcer, uh, they feel like he has had a mini stroke and he is now at the hospital. They're doing tests and checking him out. So again, just please keep Jimmy Claycomb, our announcer, in your prayers and thoughts today. Our senior two-year-old lineup for the Guernsey Breed standing in the first spot is entry 145, Wandering Acres, Novak Millie, exhibited by Brandon Grew. 
And in the second spot, number 144, Mardor Patton Star, exhibited by the Kohler family. Well, a nice little class of um, senior two-year-olds here. And uh, this young cow that starts the class, I think, is the most complete cow for us. She's the most youthful in that memory system, combined with a great open frame and showing some milkiness today. Uh, she's got the advantage over the second-place cow, just being a little more uh, youthful in that memory. She's a little more snug in the top of the rear udder uh, than the second-place cow. And a cow that's just got just a bit more style all the way through. The second place cow is the big open dairy cow for us here. And um, I give her the advantage over the third place cow in just having more bloom in that mammary system today. She's quite a bit wider in the rear udder today. She shows that really deep seam. Looks like there's room for plenty more milk in there. And just a little more of an open ribbed kind of a dairy cow than the cow coming out in third. The cow in third over the cow in fourth, she's just so much more youthful in her mammary system. She's more snug in that four udder attachment. She holds that udder higher above the hock than the cow coming out in fifth that clearly looks like she knows how to milk. And she does use that angularity uh, and bloom in her, in her rear udder to place over these two really youthful uh, mammary system cows coming out. Uh, in fifth and sixth. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. Again, your first place winner was 145, second place 144, and they were also, as they stood, first and second utter. Now, the remaining winners for your class 146 was your third place winner. That is Marrell Command Mystery, exhibited by Burrow Weaver. Fourth place in the class, number 147, Dairyman Beaver Norda, exhibited by Hobbs Lutz. Fifth place went to number 149, Joy Hill B. Destiny, exhibited by Michaela Hicks. And sixth place went to number 150, Berryman Farm, Herman Snow White, exhibited by Morgan Berryman. Is that him? Well, I would ask again, now, Representative from Boss Dairy LLC to come down to the Jersey Ring for the uh, class sponsorship presentation here for class one. Boss Dairy of Galloway, Ohio.
We have our lineup for our Spring Heifer class for the jerseys. Our judges lined them up. He begins with entry 47. That's uh, Freedom Lane Kid Rock Giselle, exhibited by the Bodenbacher family and Mandy Sell. In the second spot, entry number four, MMT Pockets Nuance Gloria, exhibited by a Glamourview Farm of Walkersville, Maryland. Morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly a pleasure uh, to be here this morning to uh, judge your All-American Jersey show and quite a class of calves to start off and it takes a few minutes to sort through them, but we've got a really nice group that comes to the top here and we're starting off with a calf here. Uh, we didn't pull her first, but she's a heifer that when you get her in line, you get her on the move with the rest of them here at the top. She's just a no holes kind of heifer. She's very well balanced. She's got that beautiful extension up through the head and neck. She carries that depth of rib for rib right through to her rear rib. Gives her the As I, as I was saying, the first heifer, she just has that advantage over the second heifer. She's just a little neater and tighter up through the shoulder region, and she's got a little more depth of rib all the way through, but you admire that length of frame on the second heifers, that length through her head and neck, and the way she handles her rear legs that gives her the slight advantage over the nice, deep, open-ribbed heifer following out in third. The third heifer, she just deserves to be up here today. You appreciate her overall dariness, her openness, her rib, that depth of rear rib. I'd like to go any higher today. I'd like to just lengthen her out a little bit through the neck compared to the heifers above. Just change the set in the rear legs a little bit. But it is her overall length of frame from shoulder to tail that gives the advantage over the nice square heifer that we have coming out here in fourth place. Heifer that we dropped a couple spots, but she just doesn't have that overall mass and length the heifers above her have, but we love the beautiful balance and openness. It's her depth of rib to give her a slight advantage over the heifer following out in fifth place. The fifth and sixth place heifers, you admire their prettiness on the move, their style all the way through. They handle their rear legs extremely well. Two heifers that pair together nicely. It's just the way at all times they just handle their rear feet to give you a slight advantage over the heifer following out here in seventh that we moved up along the line, but really admire the overall depth and openness and length of frame of the heifer here in seventh. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. And now the rest of your placings for the uh, spring heifer calf class. Again, first place went to uh, entry number 47, Freedom Lane, Kid Rock, Giselle, exhibited by Bunnenbacher, Cron, and Sell. Second place went to entry number four, Glamourview, from Walkersville, Maryland. In the third spot was number 67, Z-Class Frothy Cappuccino, exhibited by Mason Zamba from Durhamville, New York. Fourth place went to entry 43, Freedom Lane. Yeah, let me check that one. All right, fourth place to Freedom Lane Kid Rock Giggle, exhibited by Diamond Valley Dairy, Myerstown, Pennsylvania. In the fifth place, number 38, Discovery's Joey Gypsum, exhibited by Lisa Dimmer, Ellsworth, Wisconsin. Sixth place, number 51, Hogar FFK Rock Diamond, exhibited by Aubrey Kate Hogar. 
Seventh place to number 62, Heart and Soul Fizz Frapple, exhibited by Enhanced Franchise and Cooch Lee. Eighth place, number 53, Rock and Roll Shameless Snapchat, exhibited by Christy Ellsworth and Robert Nagel. Ninth place to number 20, BGKK Money Vine, exhibited by Sabrina Clark and Madison Fisher. Tenth place to number 27, Geysers VIP Jackie Sue, exhibited by Carissa, Lindy, and Elise Mercer and Aiden Condon. Eleventh place, number 28, Crestbook VIP Matilda, exhibited by James Nipple of Hillard, Ohio. In the twelfth place, number 68, Bowlakers Whiskey Elaine, exhibited by Max Carey Joe and Drew and Lane Bonemacher of Argos, Indiana. Now we'll move over to our Guernsey. We'll finish up with those jersey placings in just a moment. First and second place now for your junior three-year-old. And their others will be as they stand as well, too. Excuse me on that. Second place handle is your first place setter. And first place, your second utter in the class. But your first place winner in the lineup will be number 158. That's Pond and Pines Nutter Butter, exhibited by Jesse Dorn. Second place, number 155, Snyder's Kipling Bray, exhibited by Mella Gable. Well, uh, we took a big jump up in depth in this class from previous classes. Uh, there's great utters all the way down here and a really a fun class to line up here. And uh, we get this top pair up here. Uh, this cow that wins the class is just so much cow and she's so good in the rear end. She's, she has the advantage over the second place cow and being more correct in her rump structure, particularly on the move. She keeps uh, those pins down where we want them. She's wider back through the pins. When you stand behind these two cows, this first cow is just so square on that rump and you just really admire that. She's got so much length from end to end. Of course, she's more upstanding than the uh, cow coming out in second. We did put Best Utter on the second place cow. She's second calf compared to first calf on the first cow. Um, uh, and she's got that width of rear udder. Uh, you really admire the capacity in that memory system. And uh, the second place cow uh, has the advantage over the third cow and just she in her own right holds that frame together more correctly, particularly when they stop. She's stronger behind the shoulder. Uh, she's also got more spring to her rib today, a little more depth to the fore and rear rib than the third place cow. Love the mammary system on this third place cow, and she uses her quality of udder to place over the fourth cow. That third cow just uh, holds that seam uh, beautifully all the way up the rear udder, uh, and just a little more apparent udder quality in the fore and the rear udder. Uh, love the front end on this, uh, the fourth place cow. She's so wide. She's so good in that shoulder. And she uh, uses her advantage in front end uh, capacity as well as um, being comfortable on those rear legs. She's just got more flex to her hawk. She's stronger in her past turns than this cow that we did see in the futurity. A beautifully uttered cow that I just want to put a different set of wheels on her. Congratulations. Make some additional announcements on your uh, spring heifer calf class for the jersey. One of the uh, problems, I guess, when you have come with computers, you only have so much space to uh, put in owners, for example. So we have additional owners that we would like to share as the winner on class uh, one, the spring heifer calf class. 
Entry 47 won the class. That's Freedom Lane, Kid Rock, Giselle. The owners are Rodney Bonenbacher, Clancy Cron, Mandy Sale, Scott Stanford, and Matt and Molly Sloan. On the Jersey side, we have our winter heifer calves in the ring. So fall heifer calves for Jersey should be in the makeup now. Now the remainder placings for your junior three-year-old on the Guernsey ring. First place went to lot 150, or excuse me, entry 158 and second place to entry 155. Now, the remaining of your placings, third place went to 157, Cadence Gold Rush Barley, exhibited by Jesse Dorn. Fourth place to 163, Valley Jim Hit It Total Random, exhibited by Brandon Groove. Fifth place, number 165, Top View, L Man Rags to Riches, exhibited by Audrey Aiden, or excuse me, by Audrey Aiden and Elena Top. Sixth place to number 167, Warwick Manor Fireman Scotts, exhibited by Kevin Stolfus. Seventh place to 153, Stylecrest Mentor Chandler, exhibited by Stylecrest Guernseys. Eighth place, number 154, Hartdale Fireworks Olive, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman. And ninth place to number 169, Four Lou Farms Ladies Man Coco, exhibited by Amanda Oliver. First and second place winners on the Guernsey side. They need to be back in the makeup ring and ready for your intermediate champion. First and second place winners on our Guernsey cows, ready to show for intermediate champion. Let's have those in the makeup ring lined up, please.
We have our winner heifer cast for the jerseys in the show ring. That's class two. We need a representative from Boston LLC to come down to the jersey ring for the class sponsorship presentation. That's the Boss Dairy down to the trophy table. Reminder to you, exhibitors, for those of you who will be leaving after your breed show, you will need a release this year. They have put that back into place, so you will need to get a release from the livestock office. The rules say that after your breed show is completed, you can be released, but just a reminder, you will have to go by the livestock office and get a signed release. And that's for your protection, protection of everyone's animals and equipment.
Judge Johnson has prepared his lineup for the senior three-year-old cow class. In the first place spot is entry 172, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman. Second place in the class will go to 173, Naps Digligo Qualities Queenie, exhibited by Richard Giddings. And your udders, first and second, are as they stand. Well, this is a stupendous class. Uh, if you are in the right spot to stand behind these cows, these first three cows are cows. Any one of these three, you'd be excited as a judge when she came out to go all the way with them. Uh, these three cows, the rear udders on them, they're high, they're wide, they show that bloom that we want. They're all right on the money today. And uh, these three cows, I can't say enough, like they're um, just cows that are incredibly exciting to judge and probably the best three cows I've ever had in one class in this breed. Uh, that being said, when we get to, it, it narrowed down to the top two here. Um, obviously, we've already placed the first and third one in the futurity, and we uh, slipped this other one here into second place in this class. This first cow, she tracks so much straighter on those front legs. She's more naturally close and uh, centrally square on those front teats. Uh, when you, when you evaluate her uh, today, and um, a cow that's just um, just moving more comfortably through on those front legs and a little harder through the back when, uh, when we evaluate them standing still, a little more naturally straight over that top than the second place cow, but take nothing away from this second place cow. When you stand behind her, what a rear udder. She's high, she's wide in that rear udder. She uses that advantage and being just a bit wider at the top of the rear udder and a little more balanced side to side than the cow in third. The cow in second, a little fuller in the crops, a little uh, holds that front end in her own right uh, more correctly and more comfortably than the cow coming out in third. But another incredible individual in third. She uses her overall advantage in frame uh, over this brown cow that comes out in fourth. She's taller, she's longer, she's got such a spring to her rib today, such openness to her rib, and she has that advantage over the fourth place cow. Uh, fourth over fifth, uh, a, a cow that just fits not, uh, logically for us into that spot, a beautiful uttered cow. She's high and wide in that rear udder in her own right. And I, I think uh, for us in the rest of the class after those first three, this fourth place cow just um, is the no holes cow that really is balanced and correct all the way through. Congratulations, what a great class. Our first and second place winners for the Guernsey breed coming in to show for the intermediate champion. Our cow classes from here on out are fairly small numbers. So if you're in the four and five year old class for the Guernsey breed, it's be heading down to the makeup ring now.
four-year-old and five-year-old Guernseys need to be making your way down to the makeup ring. We're showing for the intermediate champion right now. And our classes for Guernsey are small from here on. So again, four and five-year-old cows make your way down to the makeup ring. We are scheduled for 10.30 for the Ayrshire Cows to be in the ring on the east side at the conclusion of our Guernsey show. Right now we think we're on uh, the time schedule to make that work. Well, congratulations to uh, our young cow exhibitors in the Guernsey breed here. Uh, it's been a really fun show to line up, and uh, there's been some tremendous quality. We've pulled out the, the five that we kind of like the best. I, I guess my, my approach to pulling out for champion is the more the merrier. And uh, we've pulled out this uh, fall yearling that uh, she's kind of grown on me since she showed a while ago. Uh, just filled in just a bit in that udder, and uh, she's open. She's youthful. She's so pretty through that front end, the head and neck and the shoulder, and just a, a young cow that I think shows a lot of promise. We pulled out this junior three-year-old. She's big. She's deep. She's got such a square rump and a youthful mammary system under there. And then we pulled out uh, your pair of senior three-year-olds, uh, this first cow. She's long as a train. She's beautiful in that mammary system, just so balanced, so correct. It's hard to find a spot that you'd change this cow. And then the second place senior three-year-old, she's just She's actually taller, she's actually longer than the cow that won the class, and she's got a whale of a rear udder, and just a cow that you can, I could just stand and look at that mammary system all day long. It's covered in veins, such quality, such width, it's right everywhere you want it to be. And then we pulled out uh, the second place futurity cow. Uh, she's big, she's deep, she's open. Uh, a cow, another cow that follows that pattern with a big, wide rear udder uh, attachment behind there and a tremendously open rib. Uh, I'm going to go out, I'll congratulate your intermediate champion, your reserve, and your honorable mention in that order, and certainly show them your appreciation for this uh, great young cow show. Well, these, these three, uh, all senior three-year-olds, uh, they're cows that you just really can get excited about, and I certainly am, uh, and I couldn't split them up with those rear udders. They're high, they're wide, they're bagged right. 
uh, today, and all of them, plenty of capacity, plenty of utter quality, and uh, yet perfectly well attached, and uh, the kind of cows that you can see uh, growing old and, and doing really well. Uh, we've already talked about the differences between these three, but just uh, I'll, I'll say it again, these three really get me excited uh, about the future of uh, these young cows. Take nothing away from these two young cows that I also pulled out, but the, the height and the width and the rear udder on all three of these are what puts them, uh, separates them. And if you didn't get a good look at it, check out the pictures because they are high, they're wide, and, and uh, really, to me, just exciting young cows. Congratulations. Great cows for your intermediate champion. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Your intermediate champion lineup. Super. And our judge picked his intermediate champion to be entry number 172, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartmut. And the reserve intermediate champion was entry 173, Naps Digligo Qualities Queenie, exhibited by Richard Giddings. Again, congratulations. And our judge also named the honorable mention uh, intermediate champion to be 176, Twin County What's On Tap, exhibited by Landry Fraley. Our winner here for Cavs on the Jersey side, our judge is now making his first pull. So fall here for calves. If you're not in the makeup ring, be making it down this way now. We are using the makeup course for the room needed for this class, but they'll shortly move out and then we'll need in our next class moving into there. That's the fall here for calves for jerseys. All Guernsey cows or class four year old. Five-year-old, age cow, lifetime production need to be in the makeup ring now. Again, our numbers are very low in our cow classes.
In our four-year-old cow class, standing in the first spot will be entry number 185, Snyder's Doc Higgins, exhibited by Bella Gable. That's also first under in the class. Second place in the class and second under is number 189, Walnut Ridge Jackpot Starlet, exhibited by Hobbs Lutz. Well, just three in this class of four-year-olds, but three cows that I think anybody would be proud to own. Uh, the cow that we're starting with kind of sorts herself to the top. She's still the youthful uh, a cow that's uh, really well attached fore and rear in that mammary system and just exudes quality. She's open-ribbed and silky-hided. And uh, she's got the advantage over the second cow. She's longer through that fore udder, a little more snug in the fore udder attachment. Uh, and when you're looking at her from the side, she's uh, a little straighter, uh, more correct in her set to her rear leg. Uh, then is the third place cow. Take nothing away from this third place cow. Tremendously open ribbed cow. You love that arch to the rib today, the depth of the rear rib that she has. And she, uh, she also, uh, she's showing uh, when compared to this third place cow, a little more quality through that mammary system. I do commend this uh, third place cow. She's high and wide in that rear udder attachment and impossibly long in that fore udder. Just not quite the quality uh, in her mammary system and not quite as open rib, particularly through that fore rib as the second place cow. Congratulations. In your first place winner, exhibited by Bella Gable, second place exhibited by Hobbs Lutz, and your third place winner was 187 Spring Hill Lightning Cola, exhibited by Roy Lamb. Now showing the five-year-old cow class for the Guernsey breed. Five-year-old Guernsey's coming into the ring. Six-year-olds and older need to be in the makeup ring, as does the lifetime production gown. All of our cow classes are small. Don't miss your class.
The All-American Jersey Show and CMX will once again be recognizing the heifer cow with the highest genomic GJPI in her individual class with a plaque and cash award. The top individuals will then compete for the title of GJPI Junior Champion Heifer and GJPI Grand Champion Cow. Thank you to CMAX for presenting a cash award to the recipients in each class. In the Heifer Show, each of the recipients will then compete for the GJPI Junior Champion Honor and will receive the CMAX Elevate Trophy and Banner along with the cash award. Same will happen, of course, in the cow classes tomorrow. Sash ribbons for the best animal bred and owned by the exhibitor in all classes presented by Ratliff Jerseys of Garnet, Kansas. Well, you answer exhibitors, we uh, feel like we're on the right time schedule, and your show will still be at 10.30. 10.30 for the air shares on the east side of our show ring. Our plan is to be finished up with the uh, Jersey heifers, hopefully by 1, 1 1.15, so we can make the conversion over and ready for the uh, Jersey jump to be at 2 o'clock.
And for your five-year-old cow class on the Guernsey breed, our judge has lined them up. And your first place winner will be entry number 195, Cadence Fame's Lovely, exhibited by Jesse Jorn. And that's also your total performance winner in class. Second place on the other. Second place goes to 196, Campbell's Answer Cheyenne, exhibited by Brandon Grew. And third place to 192, Naps Hucky Teresa, exhibited by Melinda Rushing. Well, again, we've got a small class here, but all three cows certainly deserve to be here and uh, could withstand a lot of competition. Uh, this top pair was quite a pair of cows to look at. They're similar cows, which made it even uh, more difficult to kind of separate them. I did put Best Utter on the second cow. I think she's got a bit of an advantage at the top of that rear udder, uh, but it's close. And then when you start evaluating frames and feet and legs, uh, the first cow is just healthier through that hawk. She's uh, flatter, cleaner boned in the hawk today for us. Uh, maybe tracks just a bit straighter uh, on those rear legs than the second place cow. And when you look at the front end, this first place cow is a little more upstanding. She's certainly got a little more heart and engine to her in the front end. She's deeper through that heart. She's got more spring and openness in the fore rib than the second place cow. But take nothing away from this second place cow. What a cow. She's so balanced. She's so correct. That udder after three calves is just tucked right in there and a cow that you can just see getting better and better. She uses her advantage in rump structure today. She's stronger in that loin and keeps those pins down uh, when compared to the third place cow. She's of course uh, more balanced in the front quarters than the third place cow. But uh, that third place cow is a cow you can really get behind as well. She's got a, a great volume to that mammary system, a great center support right up the back of the udder and a cow that's got a lot of bone and a lot of dairy quality. Three great cows, congratulations. Our Guernsey six and over class is in the ring. Our three entries are there, so our lifetime production class will be next. You should be in the makeup ring ready to come in. Lifetime production. Following at our first and second place winners to show for the senior champion.
In our six-year-old Guernsey Cow class, first place is gonna be enter number 200, Spring Hill, Kojak Uno, exhibited by Faith Lang. Second place is gonna be number 197, Hartdale Best Man Crimson, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman. And third place will go to number 202, Joy Hill Nilo, exhibited by Michaela Hicks. Next class. Well, again, uh, three fantastic cows out here. And uh, this cow that wins the class is just a dream. She's open ribbed, she's pretty, she's stylish, and you get behind her, and that rear udder is just unreal. It's high, it's wide, she's got quality in that mammary system. And today, for me, she beats that cow in second on the height and width the, at the top of the rear udder. She's so wide all the way to the very top of that rear udder. She's got a little more extension uh, through the fore udder today than the second place cow, and maybe just a little nicer on the floor of the fore udder uh, than that uh, second place cow. But take nothing away from this cow in second. She's got that uphill run. She's a beautifully stylish cow, and she in turn uh, places over the second or the third place cow on utter quality. She also has, uh, she shows more bloom at the top of the rear udder than this third place cow. Just a little more fullness at the top of the rib and uh, through that udder. Uh, than this beautiful framed cow that comes out in third. Just not quite the bloom and quality of mammary system to compete with the top two. Congratulations. On the udders, they were as they stood. First place udder went to 200, second place to 197. Now showing the lifetime production class, just the one entry. So first and second place winners for senior count classes need to be ready to show for senior champion. Our intermediate champion should be standing by to get ready to show for the grand. And a lineup for the Lifetime Production Cow Class. Your first place winner is going to be number 206, Hartdale Mentor Coconut from the Hartdale Guernsey Farm. Well, just one entry here, but I think a cow that would, could, could withstand a lot of competition. I say that a lot at county fairs, but it's true here. Uh, she's high and wide in that rear udder attachment. She's got the strength and power it takes to make a lot of milk and last this long, and a cow that I can really admire and I think uh, could stand in that same spot with a lot of cows below her. Congratulations. Our Jersey winner heifer calf class is being lined up. So all heifer calves should all be back in the makeup ring ready to come in.
What a great lineup here for the winter heifer calf class. On the jersey side, our judges look through the crop and he's lined them up. In his first place entry is going to be. That's entry number 129, Vera VIP Vertigo. Exhibited by Triple T, Michael Heath, and Peter Sapone. Second to 121, Big Guns A Victory Lap. Exhibited by Madison Fisher. Okay, Judge. Another uh, beautiful class of calves here in the winter calf class. And we got a half a dozen of these heifers. They come to the top quite easily. And as we said, coming up here, just, you know, all the way down, there's heifers here that have probably won a lot of shows and what a beautiful group. But this heifer that's leading off the class, she's kind of one that she kind of jumped out at me right when I first saw her. And it's a close place in before these first two, but we give the advantage to the first heifer. She's just a little deeper all the way through. She maybe doesn't have the extreme length of the second heifer, but I appreciate that openness and depth all the way through. That balance gives her the slight advantage over the long, stylish heifer coming out in second. The heifer in second, she's pretty. You love her from the side. She gives you a beautiful profile all the way through. It's that overall cleanness all the way through, that openness. Just that a little nicer through her rear leg than the heifer that comes out in third. The heifer in third, we just give her the advantage. She maybe just types a little nicer with the first two heifers than the heifer that's coming out in fourth place. Heifer in fourth, she's a heifer we've moved up a couple spots throughout the class, but you appreciate her overall length of frame. Just to go any higher today, maybe just like to refine her a little bit to go over the ones above her, but a beautiful, strong heifer, deep ribbed. It's her length of frame. Neatness of tail head that gives the advantage over the heifer following behind here in fifth place. And the heifer in fifth, she's a heifer you appreciate her overall width. She maybe got just a little more width up to the front end than the heifer that follows her in sixth place. Congratulations. Well, for senior champion out here, uh, uh, we've pulled out the pair of five-year-olds and the pair of age cows here. Uh, these are cows that wear beautiful mammary systems. They're balanced, they're stylish. Uh, they're cows that you can really get excited about in the Guernsey breed here. And this five-year-old is just so balanced and she's so youthful in that mammary system. Just a cow that uh, never seems to age. And she's followed by a cow that's just uh, a cow that looks like she could just keep going and going and never change. She's so balanced and well-made. A cow that's straight-lined and she was best utter in that class. A cow that just wears a beautiful mammary system with that rear udder tucked right where you want it to be. And then we get back to these age cows, uh, this uh, first place age cow. She's got that run uphill. She's got that open rib. She's got that monster of a rear udder to her and uh, a cow that you just get excited when you first lay eyes on her and it just gets better as you analyze her. And follow with the second place age cow, a cow that in her own right would be uh, tremendously uh, competitive just about anywhere. And uh, she walks uphill. She's got that powerful front end. She's been milking for quite a while, but she's still got plenty of quality to that mammary system and stands so comfortably on a great set of feet and legs for an aged cow. I'm going to walk out. I'll congratulate your uh, senior champion, your reserve, and your honorable mention in that order, and uh, certainly show them your appreciation today.
These are three tremendous cows here. Uh, I, for us, it was pretty easy. This, uh, this age cow is just all dairy and all style, and what a rear udder. It is high, it is impossibly wide, and she holds it together so well. She's bagged right to the hilt, and it looks great. Uh, and she has the advantage over that five-year-old in that tremendous sweep to a rib, and of course, she's showing so much more rear udder today than this super youthful five-year-old. The five-year-old may be showing just a little more bloom for us today than the second place age cow. Uh, uh, the second place age cow has been fresh a while, but that five-year-old just a little more top to her rear udder and uh, maybe just a little more level on the udder floor than the age cow. But these four cow these three cows, I think, can uh, compete with the very best anywhere. And uh, they're all cows that have aged well that uh, really excite us today. Congratulations. Oh, the senior champion award is going to go to entry number 200. That is Spring Hill Kojak Uno ETV, exhibited by Faith Ling. And your reserve senior champion award will go to entry 195, Caden Thames Lovely, exhibited by Jesse Dorn. The honorable mention for senior champion will go to entry number 197, Hartdale Best Man Crimson, exhibited by the Hartdale Guernseys. Our intermediate champions will remain in the ring, and the, or excuse me, senior champions will remain in, and intermediate champions are standing by, ready for the lineup to show for grand. Continue with the placings now for your winter heifer calf for the jerseys. Again, your first place winner was number 129, Vieira VIP Vertigo, exhibited by Michael Heath, Triple D Farm, and Peter Ciperoni. Second went to 121, Big Guns A Victory Lap, exhibited by Madison Fisher. Third place to 128, Beslia Strothburn, Jen Esme, exhibited by Isley, Kivett, and Gonzalez. Fourth place to 110, Ratless Bob Daisy, exhibited by Ron and Christy Ratliff, Dan Frederick, and Sophie Leach. Fifth place went to 101, Medallion Mega Power Rhinestone, exhibited by Kyle McGuire. Sixth to number 90, BJKK Ferdinand Vintage, exhibited by Paulson, Sale, Sloan, and Sanford. Seventh place went to 114, Miss Gales Grace, exhibited by Kendall Thomas. Eighth place, 131. Day Lady, Luck Bontano Deb, exhibited by Quinlan Davis. Ninth place, number 86, Miss Triple T Venture Myla, exhibited by Kendall and Cameron and Colton Thomas. Tenth place, 104, Cash In Baden Crunch, exhibited by Cash In Jerseys and Emma Hafflinger. On our jersey ring, we are now showing our fall heifer calves. Summer yearlings should be making their way down to the makeup ring. Summer yearling jerseys, be making your way to the makeup ring.
Yes, sir. Well, we got uh, four cows out here for uh, the final award here for grand champion. We got our pair of uh, three-year-olds here, senior three-year-olds. Uh, they're just tremendous cows, just the kind of cows that combine incredible mammary systems with incredible frames. They run uphill, they've got style, they've got open, deep rib, and uh, move on great feet and legs. And then we've got uh, that age cow that's just uh, such a beautiful individual. She's so stylish. She's so open. She's so high and wide in that rear udder. And then a five-year-old, which is a little change in style, but in her own right, she's a tremendous cow that could last forever. She's so balanced. She's so youthful still, uh, and a cow that you just love the way she's put together. I'm going to go out. I'll congratulate your grand champion, your reserve, and your honorable mention. Before I do that, I want to thank my associate, Tyler Chupp. Uh, we don't have to have associates down here, but it sure is fun to have someone that knows good cows to, uh, to discuss in the ring, and certainly with the depth of quality today, it was great to, to have Tyler. Uh, I think he's a great young cowman. Uh, he gave up showing any Guernseys here, but he still uh, is showing Guernseys, and uh, I know he uh, would do great judging shows down the road. And I want to thank the Guernsey breeders. It's been, uh, it was an honor for many years to work for the American Guernsey Association. And after that point, it's been an honor to judge uh, the national shows. And uh, I spent many, many years at the table over here. Um, and I want to thank everybody at the table for keeping things going. And um, it's the same crew for the most part that was here many years ago uh, when I was with the association, but it's always been a very well-run show and it's always an enjoyable thing to come down here at the end of the show season and finish things up on the green shavings. And uh, anyway, uh, to the exhibitors, thanks for having me and um, I will uh, go out, I'll name your grand champion for the finale of this year's national show season and your reserve and your honorable mention and show them your appreciation. This age cow is kind of it for me. Uh, she stood the test of time. You get behind these three cows that I just tapped, and the rear udders, the rear udder contest starts with this age cow. It's high, it's wide, it's tucked right in there. It is probably right at the corner of as full as it wants to get, but it looks great today and right now. And you just love that open, stylish rib that she's got. And then I follow with this pair of three-year-olds. When these three-year-olds came in the ring, of course, the second place three-year-old was added after the futurity here to that three-year-old class. And it was breathtaking to judge these cows. And we, we uh, debated on them for quite a while. And I don't want to split that pair up. Uh, just a great pair of young cows that have the, the frame, the style, that uphill run, the big rear udders, and the big ribs to uh, compete for years to come. Congratulations. Congratulations to our Jersey Championship group. And coming away is your grand champion is enter number 200, Spring Hill, Kojak Uno, exhibited by Faith Lane. 
And a reserve grand entry number 172, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Hartdale Guernseys. Honorable mention, went to entry number 173, Naps Diglegal Qualities Queenie, exhibited by Richard Giddings. Congratulations, a great group of Guernsey gals. And for your entire Guernsey National Show, your best uttered cow will be the Spring Hill Kojak You Know, exhibited by Faith Ling. On our group classes, we will start with the best three females, and then the daughter and dam, then produce a dam, then the exhibitors herd. That's best three females, daughter and dam, produce a dam, and exhibitors herd. That's the order for your group classes. Grand Champion Trophy provided by the Berryman Farm of Nicholasville, Kentucky. That's for your Guernsey Show. Well, just 
we got two groups out here for best three females, and um, it's close. Every one of these animals should be excellent mammary system. But uh, we're going to go with the group that's closest to me here. Is uh, certainly an advantage in maturity. Um, you get behind them. They're, they're high, wide rear udder attachments. And, um, but take nothing away from the second group. Uh, super youthful cows. All three of them hold those udders high above the hock. Uh, and, and really kind of three peas in a pod, very similar kind of animals as well. Uh, I think two groups that are certainly deserving of national show recognition and uh, really impressive to lay eyes on. Congratulations. In our best three females, first place will go to the Hartdale Guernseys. And second place goes to Jesse Dorn. Congratulations. Now, Daughter Dam. Daughter Dam. Dam and daughter classes in the ring. The produce of dam should be next for the Guernsey breed. If you have entries for the produce of dam, be at the gate. Two groups for Daughter Dam, and we got all sorts of banner winners out here uh, in just in four individuals. But uh, these two cows are going to take the class uh, on maturity, uh, and um, we've got the um, reserve grand champion cow, and we've got um, that age cow that goes with her, her mother. Uh, that's quite a pair there. And then um, the second place pair, uh, equally impressive. Um, your honorable mention, grand champion cow, and the second place fall calf is her daughter. Uh, really, I, I think two great pairs. Congratulations. Damn and daughter class first place goes to Hartdale Guernsey's. Second place goes to Richard Giddings. Now showing their produce of dam on the Guernsey side. So in the produce of dam, we have exhibitors heard. Then that will complete our Guernsey show. So we are on schedule for 10.30 start for the Ayrshire show. That's the Ayrshire cow show. We are still scheduled for 10.30. So you can be moving toward the makeup ring with your Ayrshire cows.
Well, in Proto Sedam here in the Guernsey ring, we've got three entries and uh, three really great entries. Uh, and it was close in the top pair. We've got, you've got your uh, reserve grand cow with the winning winter yearling and, and um, the honorable mention intermediate champion with, uh, I believe, the second place spring yearling. Uh, two really good pairs here, but we gave the edge to, to this first group that's closest to me. Um, obviously, we placed uh, the two, the cows in that order, and uh, it gets a little closer. Really admire that spring yearling heifer for a style, but um, we're going to go with two class winners here in the first group, and then the second group there gets over that pair of fall calves, uh, tremendous calves in their own right, but um, uh, just some cow power in that second group, and uh, really impressive cow to anchor the group. Congratulations. The exhibitor's herd, let's lead in for exhibitor's herd on the Guernsey side, please. Placings for the produce of dam for the Guernseys. First place goes to Hartdale Guernseys. Second place goes to Landry Fraley. And third place goes to Richard Giddings. Continuing with our showing of our fall heifer calf class on the Jersey side, our judges beginning to make their first draw now for this class. So summer yearlings, be making your way down to the makeup ring. Summer yearling jerseys, be making your way to the makeup ring now. Yes, yes. Reminder again that all animals in production classes are subject to ultrasound testing and milk sample testing. The first and second place cows in all classes are required to be tested. Additional animals may be selected at random. You receive the cards from our officials in the lineup and you take your cow and the card to the examination area. They're shown in the championship or group class. You may wait until after that, but please let the ultrasound clerk know that. Well, again, just two entries here in the Guernsey group class here in Exhibitor's Herd, but I think an important class, a class that uh, showcases uh, the total group that a farm has brought out, and um, it's a close Placing again some tremendous udders out here, but we've got an advantage in maturity uh, and still holding that uh, those udders so well uh, in this group closest to me. Uh, you've got your reserve cow, you've got your um, honorable mention senior champion, and that great production cow, and a couple of really solid heifers there. And uh, but take nothing away from that next group. Uh, three super youthful udders that are beautiful to look at, and uh, two quality heifers that we really admired uh, last night as well. So two really solid groups. Congratulations. Last 30, that's the exhibitor's herd class, and it's going to be won by Hartdale Guernseys. Second place is going to go to Brandon Grew, Valley Gym Farm. All right, we'd like to also present our Premier Breeder Award, and Premier Breeder will go to Knapps Guernseys of Epworth, Iowa. The representative will come down to the trophy table. Premier Exhibitor Award, that's going to go to Hartdale Guernsey's from Mulberry Grove, Illinois. So if you'll make your way down to the trophy table. And we have our Herdsman Award winner, too. Our Herdsman Award will go to Hartdale Guernsey's from Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Presenting a, a banner and also a, a chair to our Exhibitor Herdsman Award.
So congratulations, Premier Breeder for your National Guernsey Show, Naps Guernsey's Epworth, Iowa. Premier Exhibitor, that's Hartdale Guernsey's from Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Herdsman Award, also Hartdale Guernsey's. Congratulations to all you Guernsey exhibitors. A great job here for your 2022 North American International Livestock Expo. Seth Johnson was saying there that what a pleasure it has been to uh, place these fine cows and heifers. So we thank you, Seth. Seth Johnson, and place to your animals here in your National Guernsey Show. Of course, he worked for American Guernsey Association for 18 years. He did uh, shows all around the country and up in Canada, and so good to have him back here participating in our North American. So, Seth Johnson, our Guernsey judge, we thank you, sir. And we thank his associate, Mr. Tyler Chupp from Oklahoma, who has judged many state fairs and are now on the grading savings here to North America as the associate judge assisting Seth Johnson. Our thanks to Tyler Chuck. Let's give our two judges a nice round of applause. So our share crew, if you will get set up, we're just about ready to uh, get our, our share cow show underway. Summer yearling jerseys should be back in the makeup ring now. Our judges working on their second draw. So the uh, summer yearling jersey to the makeup ring, please.
Some additional awards that we have for our All-American Jersey Show, the premier breeder of the Heifer Show, will be presented with the MB Lucky Lady and Borba Trophy by MB Lucky Lady Farms and Frank and Diane Borba from out in California. And the Spring Valley and Heath Trophy will be presented to the premier exhibitor of the Heifer Show by Spring Valley Jerseys and Michael Heath of Westminster, Maryland. We thank all the sponsors, class sponsors, special award sponsors for the All-American Jersey Show. We should have in the makeup ring right now the Irishshire side, the milking yearlings. Should be three milking yearlings back in the makeup ring. Our cow classes are light on numbers, so for your Irishshire exhibitors, you're going to need to keep them coming quickly down to the ring. But right now, I would say we need the milking yearlings and the summer two year olds and the junior two year olds all down to the makeup ring for the Irishshire breed. Entry 105, 105 from Young King Yearlings on the Ayrshire. Your class is about to come in the ring. Entry 105, Milk and Yearling for Ayrshire. Your class is coming in the ring. They would ask you, Ayrshire exhibitors, if you have any scratches for your classes, be sure to let our makeup men know that.
into 105 for the Milk and Yearlings. Your class is in the ring. Summer two-year-olds, junior two-year-olds, you need to be in the makeup ring right now and be coming with all of your two-year-old and three-year-old cows because our classes are very small. Our share summer two-year-olds, entry 110 and 117. Your class is getting close to coming in the ring. Entry 110 and 117, summer two-year-old our shares. Becky, you need to be at the ring gate. Again, our exhibitors, we have announced our classes are very small. That's why we've been encouraging to bring them on. We will not wait for you on your classes. We're giving you a heads up that you need to be here now. So if you have a summer two-year-old, junior two-year-old, senior two-year-old, you need to be in the makeup ring now. And the three-year-olds need to be also making your way toward the ring. Our judges begin to line up the fall heifer calf class for the jersey side so all summer yearlings should be in the makeup ring ready to come in be sure to check in with your makeup clerks when you come down the ramp
Entry 110, summer two-year-old, our share. Your class is ready to come through the gate. In our Miracle Yearling class, our first place winner is going to be entry 108. That's Top Glen's Wicked Champ, exhibited by Top Glen Azures. Second place, we go to 104, Klein's Reagan's Roche, exhibited by Brian Klein. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the invitation to judge your Ayrshire show here this year. And I've led off with what I think is a really handy winner here in this uh, senior uh, uh, milking yearling class. This is a real lovely heifer, balanced right the way through. She's got a beautiful head, neck, and shoulders, great top line, that's beautiful spine. But what an udder on this. I've made her best udder in the class. She really has a super forward attachment and super rear attachment. And this is the quality of this udder and the overall power and strength right through this first heifer that gets her over this heifer in second. Heifer in second over the heifer in third is very close placing. Just a heifer in second a little bit wider through the chest, a little deeper through the rib, and more correct over a rump than the heifer, this real dairy heifer in third. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Now moving over to placings on our All-American Open Jersey Show, your fall heifer calf class standing in that first spot will be number 186, Stucky Home Gentry Treasure, exhibited by Mallory Stucky Home of Milford, Indiana. And in the second spot is 161, Sheridan's Andreas Shanna, exhibited by Jordan Upchurch and Franchise. In our fall cow, fall calf class uh, here in the Jersey rig, beautiful group of heifers all the way down, but we got a pair that comes to the top quite handily, and this heifer that wins, she's just a heifer that she just jumps out at you. You just admire her silkiness all the way through, her angularity. It's that silkiness and angularity that gives her a slight advantage over the long-framed heifer coming out in second. The heifer in second, you appreciate her overall style and balance all the way through. You like that cleanness through the rum structure. It's that cleanness and maybe that width that gives her just a little advantage over the heifer that follows in third. The heifer in third, she just types in really nice with the second place heifer. They're similar build kind of heifer. She's a long profile heifer. When you get behind her, you appreciate that overall spring spring she's got to her rib and it's that spring of rib and overall depth just a little more fullness all the way through a little more width that gives the advantage over the beautiful side profile heifer coming out in fourth place the heifer in fourth her overall style all the way through she's got a little more width through the rump than the heifer she prays a little nicer holds her top a little nicer than the heifer following out in fifth place at all times and the heifer in fifth give her the advantage over the sixth heifer. She's got a little more width the chest up through the front end. Just tracks a little nicer on the front legs than the heifer following behind her. Congratulations.
Uh, continue with our top 10 play scenes for our fall heifer calf class for your Jersey show. In the third spot was number 192, SD Colton Hashtag. Exited by Carly and Tyler Shaw of Fair Play, Maryland. Fourth place to number 191, MMT Pockets, Andrea Sally. Exited by the Glam Review Dairy, Walkersville, Maryland. Fifth place to 148, Four Hills, Joel Boji Blue. Exited by Megan and Sarah Hill, Bristol, Vermont. Sixth place to 150, Rock and Roll Surreal. Exited by Christy Ellsworth and Lauren Reed. Seventh place to 139. High Poise, LLF Cheers, Lovely Lies. Exhibited by Caitlin Poitras, Lily's Lane Farm, Grimfield, Massachusetts. Eighth place to 137. Schulte Brothers, Colton Cheerio. Exhibited by Gene Henderson and the Cruz Dairy. Ninth place to 147, Triple KM Swagger Java. Exited by the Sprecher family from Sauk City, Wisconsin. Tenth place, 165, Blackview Andreas Poppy. Exited by Quinn Watts and Alexis Lambro of Fowler, Michigan. Congratulations. The rest of your place in the course will be on the Jersey website. Some of your leagues coming in now for the Jersey side. Sponsored by Oak Haven Jerseys, Jerry and John Limmerman from Galloway, Ohio. Representative from Oak Haven Jerseys would come down to the Jersey ring for the class sponsorship presentation. We would appreciate that, please. So some of your leagues in the ring, on deck your spring yearlings. Back in the makeup ring, the spring yearlings should be getting lined up now in the makeup ring for the jerseys. We want to welcome to our show ring for your air share show today. Mr. Alan Trimble from the UK, the United Kingdom. He works for Alta Genetics in the United Kingdom. He is married, he has air shares under the Milford prefix, has judged throughout the British Isles and also Finland and Australia and New Zealand. Alan has judged all breeds in the United Kingdom and sits on the air share hosting and Jersey judging clinic. We're very pleased to have from the United Kingdom, Mr. Alan Trimble. Uh, he and I talked a little bit yesterday and uh, really has enjoyed uh, seeing the quality of cattle here at the North America. Uh, he's getting the pleasure of judging the fine quality of the Ashire cows here today. Junior two year air share class, we need entry 120. Entry 120 for the junior two year air share needs to be in the makeup ring. Bring over all your two year olds and all your three year olds to the makeup ring now for the air share breed.
For your Southern National Ayrshire Show, we're very pleased to have from the Ayrshire Association a crew who are always very helpful to the activities we have at the North American. We appreciate Becky Payne being here as the Executive Officer for National Ayrshire. Representing their media and magazine group, Sierra Jordan. And their ambassador delegate, Abigail Hamlet. So thank you very much for being here and assisting and helping us have a great Southern National Air Share Show. In our summer two-year-old class for the Ayrshire Bridge, your first place winner is going to be entry number 115, Deal Here, Bluebird, exhibited by Beverly Donovan. Second to 117, Clairview Vegan Crystal, exhibited by Georgia Hazelwood. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a junior two class. For me, uh, this is a really uh, nice balanced heifer right the way through. She's you know, beautiful legs and feet, right balanced right the way through from her tip of her nose right to the end of her tail. She's uh, got that width and dariness I'm looking for, but also she's got capacity. And this is really sort of clean bone, lovely the way she uses his hind legs that just gets her above this real dairy heifer in second. Really admire the heifer in second, the openness of rib, and, it's, and the heightness of her height of her rear attachment. And it's this little bit more openness of rib, depth through her fore rib and rear rib, 
and also just the way that she balanced right way through her body over this real dairy heifer in third. Heifer in third over the heifer in fourth, a little more balance up through the rear attachment. Also a uh, more bloom in her udder over this real dairy heifer in fourth. Thank you. Spring yearling jerseys. Be making your way down to the makeup ring, please. Uh, here's the rest of the placings for your summer two-year-old for the Ashair Braid. First place again went to 115, second to 117, and they are as they stand on the udders as well, too. Third place went to entry 110, Hall's Marksman Holly, exhibited by Gene Hall. Fourth place to 109, Carrier Rouse Chocolate Chip, exhibited by Emma Cohen. Now showing junior two-year-olds for the Ayrshire Breed. Senior two-year-olds, that'll put you on deck, and the junior threes and senior threes need to be in the makeup ring. Entry 173, Richard Geddes. Your cow will need to be going back to the examination area for milk sampling and milk testing. All animals in production classes are subject to ultrasound testing and milk sample testing. That's pursuant to Kentucky law KRS 246. In order to maintain the integrity of honest exhibition and presentation of dairy animals, the North American continues with the testing program. In all cow classes, the first and second place cows will be required to be tested. Additional animals may be randomly selected within classes. Please take your cow and your car to the examination area. If they will be shown in a championship or group class, you may wait until after that class has been completed. Also, if you are taking in four pictures, you need to let the folks at the uh, examination area know that you're going to pictures and come back as quick as you can. We thank you for that.
Attention Jersey exhibitors, we need the following individuals to make their way down to our announcer stand here. Catherine Knowlton, Clancy Cron, Sarah Reed, Reagan Johnson, Hobbs Lutz, Ava Hepingen, Graham Rosler, Cameron Kasbergen, Ivy Hebgen, and Emma Coleman. We need for you to make your way down to the uh, stage here in Freedom Hall. On the Jersey side, please. Again, the following folks need to be at the Jersey Trophy table at this time. Catherine Knowlton, Clancy Cron, Sarah Reed, Reagan Johnson, Hobbs Lutz, Ava and Ivy Hebgen, Graham Rosler, Cameron Kasbergen, and Emma Coleman. Assisting with our National Air Share Show, our clerks, Amy Brandstetter, UK4H agent, and Kristen Herps, USDA Farm Service Agency head. Ring persons, Jay Stone, UK Ag agent, and John Chisholm from the Department of Agriculture. And Dave Roberts from the Kentucky Dairy Development Council, back in the makeup rig. Appreciate again all these folks for their assistance with our show. Our judges pulled in this lineup on the Aaron Share Breed for the junior two year olds. It is first and second place winners, both your winners in the lineup and also first and second on others. His first place winners won 20 Emerald Farms Dreamer Annabelle, exhibited by Madeline Top. In the second spot is number 119, Moore Air Berkeley Ladybug, exhibited by Steve, Pauline, Rebecca, and Emma Schmidt.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, these two heifers at the top, to me, they're quality heifers. Just a real carriage right the way through, balance, beautiful head, neck, and shoulders on both heifers. But this first heifer for me, just uh, having a little more bloom in the top of her rear attachment, a little more capacity right through her udder today, and also fullness through her udder. But what uh, two really great heifers that know how to use their feet and legs. And that's what I want here today, cows that can really walk and, um, and carry themselves. Second over third, just a little more cleaner through her neck, cleaner through the top of the spine and beautiful. And just the way she handles her hind legs over this uh, real dairy heifer in third. Heifer in third, only two weeks fresh. We've got to admire this heifer. And she's going to make a good cow another day. Beautiful bloom through her udder. And this hits a four attachment and height and the width of rear attachment, but especially the teat placements over the heifer in fourth. Thank you. Now continue with your placings on your junior two-year-old for the Ashare break. Third place would go to 121, Simron Valley M. Maley, exhibited by Mackenzie Stanford. And in the fourth spot was 121, Klein's Thrills Tina, exhibited by Brian Klein. Now showing your senior two-year-olds for the Ashers. Some yearling jerseys are in the ring, so we need our spring yearlings. Spring yearlings, who'll be back in the makeup ring now. Judge making his first draw on the class, so again, let's have those spring yearling heifers moving to the makeup ring for the jersey breed.
Entry 139 for junior three-year-old for Ayrshire. You are needed in the makeup ring immediately. It's entry 139, junior three-year-old Ayrshire. They need you at the gate for the makeup ring. Emma Coleman will need you at the trophy table for the jersey side. Emma Coleman, please come down to the jersey trophy table. Yesterday, folks, 34 youth competed in the first Give Us Your Best 67 intro public speaking contest for the All-American Jersey Show. Ranging in age from 7 to 21, it was a contest for the ages. Each contestant was asked to take the microphone before the All-American sale to make an introduction, tell the crowd why they were in Louisville and what their favorite part of the dairy industry was. For nearly 90 minutes, these youth uh, wowed the crowd with stories and memories and dreams that they had. Each of the participants received a gift card for their efforts, and uh, now the contest sponsor, Dr. Catherine Knowlton, is at ringside with us to make some cash presentations. These nine youth will receive a $50 cash prize for being one of the top three in their division. We will then be presenting the overall winner with $100 cash prize and the reserve overall winner with $50. So we'll begin with the senior division. In the senior division, Clancy Cron. Dr. Nolson is in place to present those cash awards. Congratulations to Clancy Cron. Also in the senior division, Sarah Reed. And senior division winner, Reagan Johnson, also. There's your top three for the senior division. 
Some of our folks are showing out into the ring now, and we will get those introduced later and get their awards to them. So we switch now to the intermediate division, Hobbs Lutz. Ava Hebgen. And Graham Rosler. That's our three for the intermediate division. And in the junior division now, Cameron Kasperger. Ivy Hebgen. And Emma Coleman. So congratulations to all of our folks in the senior, intermediate, and junior division. Let's give them all a big, big round of applause. They did a great job last night. Now for our top two winners. Dr. Knowlton has the extra money for the top two winners. The reserve winner, Sarah Reed of Columbia Crossroads, Pennsylvania. That's your reserve winner. Congratulations. And your overall winner in the competition is Ms. Clancy Cron of Albany, Oregon. Again, congratulations to all and super congratulations to our reserve, Sarah Reed, and your overall winner, Ms. Clancy Cron. They are the winners in the Give Us Your Best 67, 67 intro. Dr. Catherine Nolton, thank you for being the sponsor of this activity. Again, supporting the youth in the Jersey industry so very well. Junior three-year-old Ashers coming into the gate now, into the ring. Senior two-year-old first place and also first utter goes to Chaluka Burdett Exana. Exited by Peter Vale. Second place and second utter to Rydell PBR Vanna White. That's entry 127. Exited by Steve Woodis. Okay, Judge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this senior two-year-old here, she's had two calves and for me, She's right on the money. A second calf, senior two-year-old, this is uh, what balance she's got, what a great udder and right power and everything, and right the way through her. I've given her the advantage over this, uh, just a sing just, uh, senior calf or in second, just only one calf, but she's got great balance. Just a little bit more power and strength right the way through her. I've given them first and second best udder. And um, the second heifer, just for me, she's just a, you know, got that little more balance right the way through, and especially the way she handles her hind legs a little, and she's a little cleaner in those hind legs through the bone quality as well. Third over fourth, it's the strength right the way through this uh, third, and uh, also the balance right the way through the udder. There's a little variance in the fourth, in her udder. Fourth over fifth, it's the height and width of her attachment, the balance, the, the a nation through her udder that gets her over the fourth. Fourth uh, over the fifth, Fifth over sixth, that's a little better up through the rear attachment. She's also more snugger through the fore attachment as well. And then fifth over sixth, this is a really balanced heifer. Just openness of rib and in depth of rib that gets her over the heifer in sixth. Great cows, thank you. Thank you, Judge Timber. Junior three-year-old class is coming in the ring now. 
Here's your remaining placings for the senior two-year-old class. Third place goes to Klein's Thrills Tabby, exhibited by Brian Klein. Fourth place to 128, Joel Burdett Oakley, exhibited by Carly Supley. Fifth place to 133, Maple Burn Aragorn Etta, exhibited by David Day. Sixth place to 132, NLH Margaritas Dixon Sangria, exhibited by Nicholas Hammer. Seventh place, 131, Bellroot Tuxedo Decibel, exhibited by Shocking Genetics. Four entries here in our junior three-year-old class. Senior three-year-old should be in the makeup ring. And then first and second place winners getting lined up ready for the intermediate champion. It's on the air, Cher Breen. Our judge starting to line up our summer yearlings. Class sponsored by Oak Haven Jerseys, Jerry and John Limmerman from Galloway, Ohio. So spring yearlings, spring yearling jerseys should all be ready to come into the gate. Your class is next.
In our Jersey Glass, our summer yearlings. So everybody running first place award would go to enter number 232, Shots VIP Shot of Love. Exhibited by Brad and Jessica Gavin Luck. In the second spot, 245, Viera Femme Fatale. Exhibited by Viera Dairy Farms, Hillmar, California. Okay, Judge. In our uh, summer yearling class here, another nice class of heifers here. But we're starting off with a heifer. It's just her overall length of frame. And she's kind of a heifer when you analyze her from front to back. She doesn't show you any holes, but it's that length of frame, just that openness of her rib that she carries all the way through. You love that uphill run that she's got. And for those reasons, she wins the class. It's a little, that little more length that gives the advantage over the nice square cut heifer that's coming out here in second. The second and third heifers are two heifers for me. They kind of type together nicely here in the class. They got nice square frames on them. Give the advantage of the second heifer. She's just a little neater through the rump structure. She's a little flatter through the rump. Gives a little nicer eye appeal than the beautiful heifer coming out here in third place. The third heifer, just give her the advantage of just a little more heifer than the nice balanced heifer coming out here in fourth. The fourth place heifer, you appreciate that overall openness of a rib, that spring of rib, that balance throughout, close place in between her and the, and the fifth place heifer, very similar style heifers, little more uphill run maybe to the fourth heifer advantage over the heifer in fifth. And the heifer in fifth, for me, once you get them in line, she's just a little tighter up through that crop region than the heifer that follows below her in sixth place. And the sixth heifer, she just shows a little more cleanness all the way through, just completely through over the pins and the rump, then the heifer that follows below her in seventh. Congratulations. Senior 3 year Asher should be coming into the ring. First and second place winners ready to show for their intermediate champion. Junior three-year-old class, our judge has his lineup. His first place winner and first utter award to go to number 139, Hollywood's Crest Adventure, exhibited by Craig Walton. Second and second utter to 137, Klein's Affairs Andrea, exhibited by Brian Klein. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this class, uh, a real handy winner for me. She's just got such balance. Beautiful long length through her neck, hard top line. Beautiful openness of rib and great udder on it. And this cow can really walk as well. We're giving her the advantage over this really smart second, second place animal because of the volume in her udder. But also that just the way that she handles the hind legs a little better. She tracks a little nicer than this cow in second. Cow in second over than cow in third. It's that height and width of rear attachment, the snugness of fore attachment. And she really has got some volume in that udder as well. Third over fourth. Just for me, she said a little snugger through her udder, through, especially through the fore and, uh, fore and the height through the rear attachment, and uh, just to the openness of rib. Thank you very much. And in junior three year old, your third place winners, number 135, DAR Alaska Diva, exhibited by Mackenzie Alexander. And fourth in the class to enter 140, MJH Gentleman Roxy, exhibited by Mike and Julie Hemp. Now, continuing with your placings on our summer early in Jersey class. First place again went to 232, second to 245. And your third place winner was 243, M.M. Joel Roan, exhibited by Cash in Jersey's Tulare, California. Fourth place to number 230, Discovery's Kid Rock Jessa, exhibited by Lisa Dimmer, Ellsworth, Wisconsin. Fifth place went to 216. Win top, Mamacita. Exhibited by Jacinsko and Nelson Gavarontrik of Minnesota. Sixth place went to South Mountain Rock Concert. Exhibited by Glamourview, Walkersville, Maryland. Seventh place to 224. Shots VIP, shot on the rocks. Exhibited by Dakota and Landry Fraley. Eighth place went to 234, Kellogg Bay Fern Magic. Exhibited by Kyle Austin and Sandy Baker, Staley, North Carolina. Ninth place to 240, Africa's Victorious Adventure. Exhibited by Brent Roja from Tillamook, Oregon. 
and 10th place went to 202, Discovery's Fireman, Evan Sense. The exhibit by Kevin Kretschy and Lisa Dimmer. Our spring yearling class is in the ring for the jerseys. We need our winter yearlings back in the makeup ring. Spring yearlings in the ring. Winter yearlings, makeup please. After the winter yearling class for the jerseys will be the GJPI Junior Champion Award. So our winners from previous classes will need to be showing back and parade in for the selection of the champion there. But after that, of course, our junior champion female. First place in our senior three-year-old class, we go to enter number 142, Klein's double whammy DD, exhibited by the Klein Ashers. Second place, we go to 134, A.W. Wingut Mars, exhibited by Gene Hall and others as they stand. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, just uh, two in this class, but this first one for me, just the strength and the power and the overall body conformation and capacity just got her over the second. She's also a little snugger and longer through her forehead, her attachment, and has a little 
A little more length between the front and back teeth, but you can't take away from the second cow the dairiness, the length of her neck, the openness of rib, and the beautiful bone quality she has down through her hind legs. Two really nice cows. Thank you. Our first and second place winner is coming in to show for the enemy champion on the air share side. Again, our cow classes are small, so four-year-old, five-year-old, and age cows be making your way down to the makeup ring now, please, for your air share show.
It's a reminder again to you class winners on our All-American Jersey Show. The rules of the All-American Jersey Show require professional pictures of all class winners and also all second place winners. They need to be sent directly to the Jersey Journal for use in reporting of the event. Four-year-old Asher Cows, entry 146 and 150. You need to be in the makeup ring now. We're picking the champion. Your class is next. So entries 146 and 150 for the four-year-old Asher class need to be in the makeup ring. All four of your Asher cows should be at the makeup ring gate, ready to come in the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, intermediate championship time, and uh, I brought four forward for uh, my just uh, my assessment. I really do uh, admire this milking yearling. She's got everything I want to see in a milking yearling. She's beautifully balanced, right the way, openness of her chest and depth of her rib. And what an udder this heifer has. We move on to this two-year-old heifer, and she's, for me, she's got such balance, such presence right the way through the ring. She, she really does know she's a star. She shows herself off so well. The senior two, she's a, a senior two, second carver. Beautiful balance to this as well, openness of rib and a great udder. And then we go to the three-year-old, and what a three-year-old this is. It's the length and neck, I really admire this, the hardness of top line and the way that she tracks and uses those beautiful hind legs. And she really has got a memory as well. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go and tap my champion, my reserve, and my honourable mention, but can you join with me in thanking these exhibitors for putting out such a great show in this intermediate championship? Gentlemen, I went off with this, this three-year-old to win the class and the intermediate championship. For me, she's got everything I want. She's got that length and neck, that beautiful hard spine. I've just given her the advantage over this year and a half. Her. She's just that what I'm looking for in my intermediate championship. She's got a little bit more depth. But the intermediate or the yearling heifer over the uh, senior two-year-old, having two calves, I just think she's just, just three great cows. Just admire all three of them, and what a, an advert this is for American genetics. Thank you. Your intermediate champion. That award for the Irish Breed will go to entry number 139, Harvest Crest Adventure, exhibited by Craig Walton. Reserve intermediate champion was number 108, Top Glen's Wicked Champ, exhibited by Tanner Top. And honorable mention went to 126, Chaluka Burdett Exana, exhibited by Peter Vale. Congratulations to our champions, your intermediate champions for your Southern National Irish Air Show.
Five-year-old Asher Cows and the six and over Asher Cows should be back in the makeup ring now. Spring yearling jerseys in the ring, and our judges are making their first straw. So, winter yearlings, any winter yearlings that have not made their way to the makeup ring for the jersey breed, head this way now. So, don't forget now, our winners from our classes will show back in the GJPI Junior Championship Parade.
Our top winners in our class for the spring yearlings are moving into place. So winter yearlings, all winter yearlings should be back in the makeup ring. Just again, remind you that following the winter yearling class will be the GJPI Junior Champion Parade. So if you had one of the winners from the previous classes, you need to be in the makeup ring shortly. Jersey winter yearlings, you need to be back in the makeup ring. We're still missing several. We're lining up right now for the class in front of you. So winter yearling jerseys, better hurry to the makeup ring. Five-year-old Ashers, you should be near the makeup ring gate and ready to come in. Six years and over Ashers and lifetime component merit class, all need to be in the makeup ring now. Our four-year-old cow class is lined up, and our judge is going to begin with entry 153, which is also the best utter in the class. That's Haynes Farm Dazzle Banshee, exhibited by Sarah Pulver. Second place and second utter goes to 150, Kemar Lee Rush Greta, exhibited by Lee Burgess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, any Ayrshire breeder would be proud to have this to milk in the morning when they got up to do the chores. This is some cow for me. She's balanced. She's got grace. She really does know it. She's beautiful openness of rib and that really fancy udder right the way through in the veination of this udder. I gave her the advantage over this sweet cow in second, just having that little white width and more width and height through her rear attachment and the veination through her udder. I take nothing away from this second cow. She's a real clean cut cow. Beautiful spine, beautiful openness of rib for me. And she's just tracks on those hind legs a little better than the third for me. And just that a little, little more grace right the way through the bone quality in this uh, over the third. Third over fourth for me, just holding the rear attachment a little higher, a little wider. And she's a little bit more open in the rib than the foot cow in fourth. Fourth over fifth. This is a really expansive cow, great through her spine. And this is over the, all the way that her head, neck, and shoulders blend a little better than the fifth cow. And also the way that she handles her legs a little better than the fifth cow. Fifth over six, just more bloom through her udder, especially up through the rear udder and through the four attachment. And, and sixth over seven, just a little bit more capacity through her body and especially uh, you know, a little neater through, especially through over the rump, over this big cow in seventh place. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Timber. Now over to our Jersey side, our spring yearly in heifer class, our first place winner will be entry number 295, Rock and Roll Billie Jean, exhibited by the Vieira Dairy Farms of Hillmar, California. And second place goes to 246, Shelty Brothers Colton Frankie, exhibited by Caleb Cole and Carter Cruz and Gene Henderson. In our uh, spring yearling class in the Jersey uh, ring here, Really nice class of heifers, but a pair of heifers, uh, they just blend together so nicely. And 
We give the advantage of the first heifer. She's just a little, she's a heifer that she's got that overall width all the way through. She's maybe just a freckle cleaner. She shows a little nicer up through the head and neck and through the shoulder at all times than maybe the heifer that comes out in second. Take nothing away from the heifer in second. When you get her in line, you just got to appreciate that overall mass. She's got that spring of rib and openness of rib that she's got. She's just a little deeper in the rear flank than the heifer that comes out in third place. The heifer in third, a heifer that we put down a little bit here, but we do admire her length of frame, her correctness of her top line. She's got that width all the way through. Maybe at times she's just a little neater through the rump than the heifer that comes in fourth. The heifer in fourth, fourth and fifth place heifer, two heifers that go together in our mind. The fourth place heifer, she's got a little more rib, a little more rear rib than the heifer that comes out in fifth. But it's that overall style and cleanness, just a little cleaner than the heifers that follow out below them in the class. The sixth place heifer, she just types in really nice with the heifers above her. She's a little stronger through the top, a little cleaner through the head and neck than the heifer that comes out in seventh place. Congratulations. Now, remaining awards for the four-year-old cow class. Again, first place went to 153 and second place to 150. Continuing with the results, third place went to 147. Moore Air Berkeley Lullaby, exhibited by Lacey Condor. Fourth place to 149, Family AF Air Max Dreamer, exhibited by Rachel Heffel. Fifth place, 148, Stone Springs Berkeley's Diamond, exhibited by Daniel Hopball. Sixth place went to 146, Mallory's Bickling Caliente, exhibited by Emma Coleman. And seventh place went to 152, Family of Ayrshire Remington Delusion, exhibited by Addison Bailey. Now continuing placings on your spring yearling heifer for the Jersey Show. Third place in the class went to 248, Dream Valley Rockin' Thousands, exhibited by Michael Bosley. Fourth place goes to Miss Smokin' Hot Blind Ambition, exhibited by Glamourview Dairy of Walkersville, Maryland. Fifth place went to number 251, Sterling's Joel Steller, exhibited by Ella Levity of Pennsylvania. Sixth place to 263, BK Moore Joel Bacardi, exhibited by Glamourview Dairy of Walkersville, Maryland. Seventh place, 273. Underground Lollipops Luella, exhibited by Christy Ellsworth of Mount Morris, New York. Eighth place went to 430. Sheraton's Joe Skibaby, exhibited by Peter Vale and Bud John Farms. Ninth place, 278. BEC Casino Bay, exhibited by Lillian Marie Williams of Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. And 10th place to 290, Four Hills Velocity Precious, exhibited by Tim and Sharon Abbott and Franchise Dairy. We need interim 166, 166 in the six and over class for the Ayrshire Breed. Entry 166, we need you right now for the six and over class for the Ayrshires.
We are showing the winter yearlings now for the Jersey Breed. Following that will be the GJPI Junior Champion Parade. And then the selection of your Junior Champion and the Reserve Junior Champion. And following that, our Junior Best Three. That's the order that we have here for the rest of our heifer classes today. So in next will be the GJPI Junior Champion Parade. If you had winners in those classes, you need to be back in the makeup ring right now. We appreciate the many sponsors that we have for our shows and classes. The Ashire Cow Class sponsors, we want to share those sponsor announcements with you. Be sure to uh, thank these folks for their participation in your Southern National Ashire Show. Milk and Yearning Class was sponsored by the Pike Veterinary Services. The Summer Junior Two-Year-Old Class was sponsored by Steel Fire Farm. Junior Two-Year-Old Class was sponsored by Danny and Christy Daly. Senior two-year-old air share class is sponsored by Northeast Ford. The junior three class is sponsored by Kentucky Bluegrass Genetics. The senior three air share class, your sponsor was Steel Fire Farm. The Intermediate Champion Award was provided by Jesse Muse. The Reserve Intermediate Champion provided by Palmyra Farm Cheese. Four-year-old sponsor for the air share show was Clearview Farm. Five-year-old class being sponsored by Lowell's Dairy. Our six and over class will be sponsored by Steel Fire Farm. Your lifetime component merit class sponsored by Round Three Restaurant. Senior Champion Award will, of course, be provided by Palmyra Farm. Reserve Senior Champion by Old Bankston Ashares. The Grand Champion Award provided by Lee's Dixieland Farm and a reserve grand champion by JSB Acres. And again, our thanks to all these sponsors. Appreciate them, and you folks be sure to give them a pat on the back for their support of your Southern National Air Shower Show. Entry 166 for the Ayrshire Show, 166. They need you at the makeup gate right now. Six and over Ayrshire, entry 166. Make a mad dash down to the makeup ring. We're lining up the class in front of you now.
Our five-year-old cow class is lined up for the Ayrshire breed, and our judge is going to begin with his winner to be number 161, Miss Bikini of Iowa Sign, exhibited by Dana and Madison Sickles. That's also your first utter. Second place and second utter to 157, Old and Lazy March Mattis, exhibited by Peter Vail. Judge Temple. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a great cast of uh, cows here. This cow for me is a handy winner. She's just a, a, what I really want to see in a senior cow. Beautiful head, neck, and show. Head, neck, really good top line on this, and openness of rib. And it's just this more capacity. She's another. She's a, a calf more than the cow in second. A little showing a little more maturity and that little deeper through her rib over this real dairy cow in second. Second and third were tight placing for me, but I gave the, to the second cow. She, She's just a little cleaner and dairier through her neck, the way that she carries her neck, and also she's cleaner and a little more dairy down through her hock, and the way that she handles those hind legs over this big capacious cow in third. Third over fourth was a close place, and again, big capacity cow, this third cow, but she just does show, show herself a little better than this fourth cow. She has handles the ring a little better than the fourth cow right the way through. You can't take away from this fourth cow the volume of her udder and the height and width of rear attachment gets her over the cow in fifth. Cow in fifth of the cow in sixth, just a little bit more quality in the presence that she's got. She's got a little bit more uh, capacity right the way through her, especially the depth of rib. But I do admire this young cow, the uh, fourth calf cow here at the, in the sixth place. Just a real nice dairy cow that I'm sure will be back again. Thank you. Six years of age and over on the Ayrshire breed is coming into the ring now. Continue with your placings on class 20, the five-year-old Ayrshire class. First place again was 161, second place 157. Third place went to 160, more air predator lively. Exhibited by the Schmidt family. Fourth place went to 159, Mallory's Burdett Gracious. Exhibited by Charlie Hackman. Fifth place to 158. Klein's Rondo's Rally, exhibited by Brian Klein. And sixth place to number 156, Deer Hill Fashionel, exhibited by Beverly Donovan.
lifetime component merit class will be in next for the air shares. We understand now there are no entries for the lifetime component merit class for the Ashar breed. So senior champion will follow six years and over class. So first and second place winners be ready to show back for the senior champion. In your exhibitors, we had a winning class of winners for the GJPI, your junior champion parade for that is first thing we'll do right after this winter yearling heifer class, which is coming into the lineup now. So if you had a winner in the GJPI, you're the winner in each class, you need to be lining up now for your junior champion parade. And then following that, we will have our actual junior and reserve junior champion parades.
In the lineup for our six and over Asher class, your first place winner. 172, Top Glen, Wishful Thinking. He can said to buy Tanner Top. Second place will be entry 167, Condair Burdett, and he can to buy Lacey Condair. First utter to 172, second utter to 164. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been an honor to judge this class. It's a really good senior cow class. And this cow here, nine years old with seven calves, and anybody would want to milk this cow. This is a fantastic cow. She's got grace. She's got presence right the way through. She's a beautiful openness of red, the way that she tracks. And it's this quality of udder and the bloom of udder and the, and the venation through her udder that gets her over this handy cow in second. I do admire the cow in second. She's opening, opening her rip. And she just gets over the cow in third. This is a, a real nice dairy cow just because her rump structure is a little better for me. She carries her tail a little, a little better. But I did make this cow in third, second best udder in the class. I really do admire this udder. I really admire the way that she handles her hind legs. And this is the reason she goes over the cow in fourth. She's just cleaner down through those hocks for me. And she really does handle those hind legs better than the cow in fifth. Cow in fifth to me is a little more bloom in her udder. She's more dairy and vaination through her udder over this cow in sixth. Thank you. In a six and over class, again, your first place winner was 172 and second went to 167. Now the remaining results, third place to 164, old and lazy Jenna Wipeout, exhibited by Peter Vale. Fourth place to 171, Chaluka Prime Zally, exhibited by Gene Hall. Fifth place to 166, Hall's Dreamer Heavily, exhibited by Gene Hall. Now switching over to our Jersey side, our winner yearling heifers for the Jersey. Your first place winner lineup is number 315, Whitdale Colton Jenny, exhibited by TNL Cattle Company and Vieira Dairy. Second place to 304, Schulte Brothers Gentry Clarabell, exhibited by Blake, Mitch, and Zach Schulte from Watkins, Iowa. In our, in our winter yearling class here, beautiful class, a heifer's all the way down, but a heifer that just, she just jumps out at you and she wins the class quite handily. It's winter yearling class, uh, doesn't matter where you are this time of the year, can, it's tough for heifers that are heavy in calf, but this heifer, she's ready, she's clean all the way through. You appreciate that style, that overall depth, that width she's got through the front end. Just a real pretty heifer here to win the class. It's just that overall cleanness and prettiness through that gives her the slight advantage over the heifer here in second, the heifer in second. You appreciate her overall length. You like the way she handles herself on the move. You like the way she's level through the top. Gives her, it's the way she just is more balanced maybe and just looks, just carries that straight top line a little nicer than the big heifer that comes out here in third. The heifer in third, you like to maybe just widen her out the rump to go any higher over the heifer above her here today. You like to sweeten her up just through the rump section a little bit, but it's her depth of her rib that gives the advantage over the heifer that follows her here in fourth place. The fourth place heifer, you admire her overall length of frame. You like to see her just a little fuller in her rear flank here to go up over the ones above her today, but it's that overall length and stretch that gives her the slight advantage over the heifer that follows uh, behind her in fifth place. Congratulations. First and second place winners on the Ayrshire side, lining up for your senior champion. We'll resume with your winter yearling jersey heifer class. Third place in the class went to entry 306. Entry 306 is J.K. Fizz Phoenix, exhibited by Morgan Jerseys of Urbana, Ohio. Fourth place went to number 310, Cavetta Nuance Van Cura. Exhibited by Madison Fisher and Peter Meyer of Frostburg, Maryland. Fifth place to 308. Hey Bale, Kid Rock packing a punch. Exhibited by Brian Bailey and Caitlin Mediat from New York. Sixth place went to number 298, SBF Geronimo Andy. Exhibited by Reagan Johnson of New Hampshire. 
Seventh place went to number 300, DKG Gentry Secret, exited by the Greeley family of Sydney, Ohio. Eighth place to 311, Milk Rich Dominate Nachos, exhibited by Brooks Summer and Shane Hammond from Barron, Wisconsin. Ninth place went to number 302, MMVIP Fame, exhibited by the Boss Dairy of New Mexico. And 10th place to 301, Dash's Delusion, exhibited by Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst of Hartford, Wisconsin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the senior championship in the Ayrshire ring. And I uh, decided to line all six cows along the middle of the ring because they are six great specimens of the Ayrshire breed. And what an advert for American genetics. These uh, four-year-old cows here, the two four-year-old cows, just such balance, dairiness, long necks, clean right the way through, beautiful legs and feet, taking nothing away from the five-year-olds. What's, you know, real balance to those as well. I like to think that when you look at the six animals along, they're all the same kind of animal. They're all the same kind of cow that I want. And I want a milk. And I want dairymen in the, in, right throughout the world to see what quality Ayrshire animals are, because these are. Ladies and gentlemen, it's given me great pleasure to judge these cows. I'm now going to chap out a champion with my reserve and my honorable mention. Thank you. Jonathan Marion from C-Mix, if you will, please come down to the trophy table. Jonathan Marion from C-Mix, please come to the trophy table on the jersey side, please. Ladies and gentlemen, three fantastic cows. I went with my... Uh, Six and over year old cow, for me, having a nine year old, seven calves, she really is what I want to see in a dairy cow. She's beautiful balance right the way through and she's got that other steel to match. And having had seven calves and still can her up like this, especially with the rear attachment. I've given her the advantage over this four year old cow, just a little more capacity, just as a very close placing. I really do admire this, for this four year old cow. She's got capacity, she will have her day. She's a beautiful balanced cow. And then the five-year-old, what a cow to come in. And the only thing that's wrong, they're the wrong side of the ocean for me because they're three great cows. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Your senior champion award will go to Top Glen Wishful Thinking. That is entry number 172, exhibited by Tanner Top. The reserve award goes to number 153 from the four-year-old class, Haynes' Farm Dazzle Banshee, exhibited by Sarah Pulver. The honorable mention from the five-year-old class was 161, Miss Bikini of Iowa Side, exhibited by Dana and Madison Sickles. The All American Jersey Show and CMEX has once again recognized the heifer with the highest genetic GJPI in her individual class with the Black and Cash Award. Top individuals now competing for the titles of JGPI Junior Champion Heifer, receiving that award from CMEX, the Element Trophy, the Banner, and the Cash Award. And here's our judge with his points. In our uh, class here for uh, the GJPI Award here, uh, We've got a group of really nice heifers that represent their class all the way through and beautiful heifers. But we're going to go out here and I'm going to go and I'm going to congratulate 
our winner of this award here for today. And uh, please give them a round of applause uh, to this heifer uh, when we do so. Uh, the fall calf here uh, be the winner uh, here today. She's a heifer that she just fits a little more of the pattern that uh, we like to go with. She's got that overall depth all the way through, and she's got that width up through the front end, and just admire uh, when she's out on the move. But congratulations to all the exhibitors on a fine group of heifers. So your GJPI junior champion will be from the fall heifer calf class, entry 711. Vieira Robesco Eye Catcher, exhibited by Cash in Jerseys from Tulare, California. Jonathan Marin here from CMEX to present the CMEX Elevate Trophy and a banner in the Cash Award. Congratulations. Okay, what well we... Our intermediate champions and senior champions in the air share breed for your Southern National Show now moving into place for a judge to pick his grand. Senior best three females will be the next class. If you're going to exhibit the senior best three, you need to be in the makeup ring right now. Showing for junior champion and reserve junior champion awards over on the Jersey side. The following that will be our junior best three females. At the conclusion of the Jersey show, we'll tear down the fence and get things ready for our Jersey jug, which is scheduled for two o'clock. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's coming to the time to judge a uh, grand champion of the milking uh, classes here at uh, now, before I go through the cows, I'd like to thank the exhibitors very much for bringing out such quality stock in front of me. I'd like to thank my stewards that have been absolutely fantastic in getting me through this. I'd like to thank uh, the show for actually inviting me to come over. I actually was asked in 2020 and COVID hit, and I thought this may have passed me by, but today when you see the quality of cattle that are in front of us, I... Uh, I'm glad they didn't. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen such great cattle. Quality, clean dairy cows with great udders. And I wish that a lot of other Ayrshire breeders from the UK could see these quality animals. Today for grand champion, I feel there's only one cow in this ring. I'd heard a bit about this cow, but I'd never seen her in the flesh. This cow, the senior cow for me, is grand champion today. She is everything I want. And I follow it very closely with this four-year-old cow because to me, she's got a great future. She's just everything I want to see in a young cow. She's got that grace of wonderful udder, and she's beautiful on her legs and feet. She is my reserve grand. And then I'm going to go right the way back down for the three-year-old cow because to me, she is, honorable mention, she is a beautiful, beautiful, balanced cow with dairiness. And the handler's got the same hairstyle as me, so that's really going to help him. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
Ayrshire exhibitors be getting your senior best threes ready. They're our next class. Senior best threes. The exhibitors heard will be tomorrow with the heifers. Exhibitors heard will be tomorrow. So for your air share bridge, your grand champion award goes to entry number 172, Top Glen Wishful Thinking. Exhibited by Tanner Top. And the reserve grand went to 153, Haynes' Farm Dazzle Banshee, exhibited by Sarah Pulver. Honorable mention went to 139, Harbor Crest Adventure, exhibited by Craig Walton. Congratulations to our champions for the Ayrshire Breed. Senior best three Ayrshire females now in the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just uh, one breeder group, but three really actually good cows, and they've done well in the classes already. Uh, just real nice dairy Ayrshire cows, and uh, I'd be proud to own these three as well. Well done to the uh, breeder group. Thank you very much. The Ayrshire Exhibitors Herd will be tomorrow, following the heifer classes, is when we'll have the Ayrshire Exhibitors Herd, as we don't have our heifers course here at the ring, so cows and heifers tomorrow will be in the Ayrshire Exhibitors Herd. Total performance we'll have in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful heifer show here uh, this morning, and as we're getting close to the conclusion here, just want to take a moment and congratulate uh, all the breeders and exhibitors of the heifers they presented to us uh, here today. Give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank uh, Joel for his help here this morning with the heifers, and uh, I guess in my mind, I think we see uh, things very similar. And we've got four heifers out here in the center of the ring. And 
I would like to hope that you can see a pattern. I appreciate cattle that have that openness of rib and that depth of rib and that angularity that carry that all the way through. And we have four heifers out here uh, that exemplify that and really admire the December calf here. She's a calf that caught my eye right when she came in the ring in her class. And for me, she was a handy winner. And that continues right on down through to our fall calf here, a heifer that showed a lot of angularity over the rest of the class. Uh, when she was out here in the ring in our junior yearling, you admired her overall depth and her width all the way through for her to win her class. And then our winter yearling, she won her class quite handily here. She, uh, here earlier today and just that overall cleanness that she's got through and just four really stylish heifers. But I'm going to go out here and I'm going to select my junior champion, my reserve and honorable mention in that fashion. And please give them a round of applause uh, once we do so. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for us here this morning, uh, take nothing away from the December calf before she leaves, but these three heifers here, uh, they just come together uh, quite nicely. This winter yearling heifer here, she just, uh, when she came in the ring, she wowed us, and uh, she's got so much style. She's clean all the way through. She walks so nicely on a great set of feet and legs. You get behind her, you love her width. Give her the advantage over the spring yearling, just a slight advantage. She's just a little cleaner maybe through the head and neck than the spring yearling, but two heifers that really go together quite nicely. Take nothing away from our fall calf here for honorable mention. Really admire her angularity all the way through. Just like to maybe just drop her pins a little, make her a little harder in her loin at times when she's going around the ring to go above the, the two heifers here uh, today. But congratulations to the breeders and exhibitors. How about a big round of applause for the championship parade of our top three animals in your heifer show. Junior best three is going to be on next. Junior champion female, the award provided by the Tennessee Jersey Cattle Club. They sponsor a trophy to the exhibitor of the junior champion. And that junior champion is number 315, Whitdale's Colton Jenny, exhibited by TNL Cattle Company and Vieira Dairy of Hillmar, California. The Reserve Junior Champion Female Award, Ryder Jersey Farm, Upton, Kentucky, sponsors that trophy. And the Reserve Award goes to 295, Rock and Roll Billy Jean, exhibited by the Arid Dairy Farms of Hillmar, California. And your honorable mention in the championship for the heifers goes to number 186, Stooky Home Gentry Treasure, exhibited by Stooky Home Dairy, Milford, Indiana. Senior best three females for the Asher Show went to Moore Air Farms, Delavan, Wisconsin. And that completes our Asher Show for today. And of course, our Heifer Show will be tomorrow. Tabulation process is now complete for the premier awards. Your premier breeder for the Heifer Show will be Bud John Farms in Petervale and David Jordan of Lamara, Wisconsin. Congratulations. 
Representatives of Bud John Farms, Peter Vale, and David Jordan, premier breeders for the Heifer Show, you can make your way down to the trophy table. And the premier exhibitor for the Heifer Show, that award will go to the Vieira Dairy of Hillmar, California. Representatives of Vieira Dairy will be at the picture area to receive the premier exhibitor award. MB Lucky Lady Farms and Frank and Diane Borba from California sponsors the award for the premier exhibitor of the Heifer Show. Premier Breeder, Spring Valley and Heath Jerseys, Westminster, Maryland sponsors that trophy and banner for the premier breeder of the Heifer Show. And you can join us here at the picture area.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Joe and I both said this might have been the toughest class of the day here. Uh, six tremendous groups, junior groups here. I actually went to the last group and I said, don't tell anybody you were last, just tell them you were sixth place. But uh, we're starting off here with a group here. Uh, the group classes are all about uniformity and, and these three heifers, they're cut very, very similar. They're peas in a pod. They got that massive deep rib. They got that open rib. As I said, they're cut very similar. Followed closely by the group here in second. A group that's maybe a little more youthful group, but just uh, got two, two really outstanding heifers, three outstanding heifers in this second group, but the third heifer maybe just doesn't keep the uniformity that the first group has. Second over third, just more on overall uniformity, more similar style of heifers than the group that comes in third. Take nothing away from the group in third. Just six really exceptional groups uh, of uh, junior threes here for your junior herds. Congratulations. So for the best three females class, your first place award will go to Sheltie Brothers from Watkins, Iowa. Second place and best three for Jersey goes to the Air Dairy from Hillmar, California. And third place to Christy Ellsworth, Mount Morris, New York. Congratulations. So that will complete our heifer show for the All-American Jersey Show. We'll proceed now to make changes here in our ring and get ready for your Jersey Jug, which will be at 2 o'clock.